If you shoot competitively or if you just want to stay sharp for self-defense and home protection purposes, one of the most effective training tools is dry fire. Pretty much everybody I've ever spoken to agrees on that. But where everybody starts to disagree is on the best way to accomplish the dry fire and what tools are available to use. Some people will spend literally hundreds of dollars on very expensive simulation tools so that they can dry fire. And some people will just use their gun, unload it, make sure it's safe, and use it right out of the holster. But one of the biggest problems with dry fire simulation in your regular handgun is the fact that most polymer striker fired guns, like this Glock, have a dead trigger once you've pulled the trigger one time. So you get one click, then you've got a dead trigger that's all the way back, and you end up racking the slide again and again and again every time you want to pull the trigger. The reason you're doing dry fire is to program in muscle memory for pointing out, getting a sight picture, pulling the trigger and having good trigger control. And yet at the same time, you're also programming into your muscle memory, racking the slide in between every trigger pull. Think about that a second. Is that something you really want to build into your repertoire? Wouldn't it be nice if you could pull the trigger again and again and again without ever touching the slide on your Glock? So this little device called the Glock Easy Trainer or E-Trainer for short was developed by an engineer in Greece and is exclusively distributed in the United States by ConcealedCarry.com. It costs just under $30, which is nothing, goes right on any Glock and doesn't require disassembly. Doesn't, you can even leave the magazine in the gun. And it allows you to continuously pull the trigger. And what you don't get with the E-Trainer is you don't get that crisp break and you don't get that snappy reset that we're used to with our Glock pistols. You're just going to get repeated spring tension on the trigger. But I would submit to you that that is plenty good for constant training. And it allows you to do your dry fire engage multiple targets with multiple hits, feel that trigger pull every time, keep your eye on the sights, make sure that front sight's not moving while you move the trigger. All those things. You can keep your concentration where it belongs, get a trigger pull every time, and you are exercising the muscle and building the muscle memory where it really belongs, in the trigger finger, in the proper grip and stance, not in racking the slide. The folks at ConcealedCarry.com sent me this e-trainer to use and review, and I have been really enjoying doing just that. It is a great solution to a problem that I've had for years every time I've been trying to do dry fire practice with my Glocks. And I'm telling you, for under 30 bucks, you literally can't go wrong. Highly recommended. Okay, let's take a quick look at the Glock e-trainer, and I'll show you how easy it is to install. And all three of these Glocks have a Gen 3 Glock 17, a Gen 4 Glock 30S, and a Gen 5 Glock 17. Let's start with the Gen 3. We'll move, go in the order of generation. So all you have to do, you can leave the magazine in your gun, just lock the slide back. Of course, leaving the mag in makes that a little easier. Just tip the gun upside down, take the E-Trainer, and line up the two little nubs with the very last serration slot, basically, on your slide, and just base, and just sort of push it down from there, and you will see that it only needs to go about this far because this little piece right here is going to fit right into the corresponding area of the slide. I'll show you a close-up of this in a bit. But that is it. I mean, that's literally how easy it is to install. And then, once you do that, the trigger will continuously reset itself, but not with a full functional reset. It's just going to continue to spring forward and stay alive. So that you can do your dry firing, train your finger to work the trigger without training your other hand to work the slide. So that's a Gen 3. Let's take a look at a Gen 4. Just slide it off. That's as easy as it is to get off of there. 
Okay, we go to our Gen 4. And again, this is a 45 ACP Glock 30S, but it still has the thin slide. E-Trainer comes in two sizes, one for the thin slide, one for the thick slide. So basically, at just about 30 bucks a piece, that's pretty good. You could spend $60 and have one for every single Glock you own. Okay, so there we go. We are in the Gen 4. Same exact process. And now we have a trigger that we can continue to pull. Perfect for training and dry fire. And last but not least, the Gen 5. So when they sent me the E-Trainer, the first thing I thought of is, hmm, gee, I wonder if it'll work in the Gen 5 or if there's enough difference that it won't. Well, there is some difference in the Gen 5, but it does still work. And I'll show you that. Slip it on. And you can see that the fit is not as perfect. There's a little bit more airspace there, but it, nothing is harmed by it and there's no interference. It just doesn't fit quite as perfectly as it does on the Gen 3 and Gen 4, but it functions exactly the same way. So, Gen 3, Gen 4, Gen 5, and I would submit without having tested it, but I think you find it, uh, it'll go back even further than that to Gen 2 and maybe even Gen 1. Okay, here's that close-up view I promised you. This is the Glock 34, Gen 4, with the Glock E-Trainer. And you can see just how simple it is. No tools required and you don't even have to field strip the pistol. You just lock the slide back, slip it on just like you see here. And you see how it fits in there. And once you're done, that's it. I mean, you just, uh, it allows you to continuously work the trigger. Now isolate your trigger finger and build good quality muscle memory without adding any additional steps